it, it really is a love fest. And uh, considering that you quit the day I started and I hold no grudge. By the way, I do actually feel guilty about that. <laughs> no. Uh, no, I genuinely do, because I, I, I didn't think about that, which is it's your first day, and two hours before you're starting, I've held a press conference to say, oh, by the way, I'm leaving. <laughs> nice, nice way for you to start. Yeah. But that was Fox's idea, not mine. Yeah. Well, it's funny, because when he walked on, I, I, I whispered to him, I was like, I start and you quit? Like, <laughs> what happened? What'd I do? You don't even know yet. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but it, was, uh, it was an interesting way to start. But, you know, things happen the way they happen, and it was, uh, but I have enjoyed, I really have enjoyed my time with yeah, you. Yeah, so have I. I have. So have I. Um, and, you know, I, I said when I, when I signed on to Idol, I would show you the behind the scenes, because there are a lot of things that happen that a lot of people don't see what's happening. Uh, even though it's a live show, they really shoot around it. Um, and one of the things when we first started working together, I noticed how touchy uh, Simon was. Very, very, um, cause you remember how I was sitting next to him at, at first and then I kept moving further and further away? <laughs> that was my doing because every time I sat next to him, this happened. He wants to own me, to control me, come close. And then I'm not stopping you, by the way. Well, I know. I know. By the way, there, there was one um, one time uh, where you were sitting on my lap, mm -hmm. blowing in my ear, mm -hmm. and I've got to tell you, it felt really good. Really? No, seriously. You're very good at that. Thank you very much. <laughs> I was going to say, I'm actually, I'm, I'm going to stop myself right, here because I know I'm going to be in big trouble. Stop. Stop right now. <laughs> well, you can't help it. You, you know, you're attracted to, uh, you know, beautiful women. But, um, <laughs> but that's what he's doing also. You know, everybody always talked about, like, why isn't he focusing? Why isn't he watching the auditions? He's always looking off. And there are distractions on the set, which I didn't know before I joined. I mean, that's bought you a lot of time in my book. To be able to do that, that was incredible. And I really like you. I love those two. Most, <laughs> not. Most recently, uh, if you uh, were watching, Simon could not stop laughing. And everybody was like, why is Simon laughing so hard? And I guess I just really like to make him laugh, because he's got a look at his smile. He's got a sweet smile. So I like to make him laugh. And so this is what I was doing uh, while, I was trying, while Carol was talking. I was making him laugh. And I think you did a good job. You changed it up where it needed to be, but you didn't stray too far away from the original. You did get a little lost in the arrangement. You were fighting. Your tone doesn't have the rasp and the edge. And that's really where you shine. So I think this was the, the choice that, you know, we should have made for you, where you're sensitive, where you're vulnerable. And that's really where far away from the original. Good job. Casey's numbers. If you want to vote for Casey, the three numbers for that one eight six six idols zero one or zero four. I'm sorry. Ah, remember the fun. <laughs> All right. Well, finally, uh, before I see you tonight, later on, we're we're on tonight together. You know. Uh, so, but before I uh, let you go, I want to give you a gift, something to remind you of Idol every single day. Uh, because I know how hard you work, and you need to make sure you wake up on time. And so here's an alarm clock that, if you just hit Ryan's face, what with a punch? If you want. And this is American Idol. <laughs> and this hit it again. is American Idol. <laughs> I couldn't think of anything worse. Watch the finale of American Idol tonight and tomorrow.